How's it going folks? Welcome back to another video. Yep, I'm wearing shorts today. I'm going with the shorts. It's about 50 degrees and uh, I thought I'd uh, give Wade and this river a try. I've actually only fished this river one other time. It was actually yesterday. I fished it for about an hour and check out what I caught. Oh, 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 got him, got him. Fish on, it's a bass, it's a bass. Whoa, whoa, no way. I casted the spinner, I thought they were carp. And then this guy just comes up and totally wallops it. It's a small mouth, it's a smallie. Get in here, dude, look at that sucker. Look at that fish, dude. Oh my gosh, you guys, are you kidding me? This is the first smallie I've caught in forever. This might be my biggest too. He's a little bit skinny, he's long and skinny. But this is my biggest smallie, I think. <gasps> I've literally caught probably 15 smallmouth bass in my whole entire life. So that's why I'm super excited. Get out of there, bud. <sighs> yep, so that's what we're going for today, folks. Smallmouth bass. I also caught a rainbow trout and uh, snagged a couple carp and saw a big old catfish nestled in one of these rocks up here. So I have a Sanko tied on right now, gonna kinda look for some bass, but I also have some bread and night crawlers just in case we see a big old catfish that we wanna catch. I don't have any plans, I'm out here. I'm gonna catch some fish, have a good day. Let's get started. Oh my gosh, guys, look at all these carp. Might as well toss in there just in case a bass is around them. Look at all these carp. I don't know how well the GoPro can see it, this is nuts though. Look at these fish. Guys, we might just have to switch and target tar and target carp today. Look at them. All carp, no bass. At least none that I can see. The carp have probably just taken over. All right, folks. I think I'm gonna change up my game plan. My goal was to target smallmouth, but so far I'm not seeing a whole lot of them. So I'm gonna take the Senko off. And then I have here in this little bag a few hamburger buns that I brought for carp. I think we'll just break off a little piece like that. Throw some in our pocket, break off a little piece. And then we're just gonna fashion a little bread ball on our hook here and uh, kind of target carp. And there we go, got a little bread ball. Now all we have to do is go looking for some carp. They're everywhere. Oh, have three carp go into my bread. Oh, he sucked it in, he sucked it in. Let him eat it, let him eat it, let him eat it. Let him eat it, let him eat it, let him eat it. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh, he's gonna cut me off on that rock. Oh, shoot. It's probably just slicing right over that rock. Okay, got him out. Nice one, nice one, guys. First fish of the day, ate my bread ball. Heck yeah. Ooh, hoo, 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 sucker. It ain't no bass, but it's a fish. Gosh, nothing beats the fight of a carp. No wonder those Brits like them so much. All right, get over here, I'll let you go. Or maybe I won't. And this one's too big to eat. I just want a little tiny carp to sample if we're gonna go that way today. Come on, Big Bertha. Yeah, sucker. Yeah, baby. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Hooked him perfectly. Pop it out, there we go. That is my first carp in some time. Nice one, I love their big suckery mouths. There we go, sweet. I ain't kissing you, bud. Heck yeah, that's one fish down. Let's get another one. All right, so the creek has kind of opened up into this kind of flat land. There's no rocks, no boulders, just a flat sandy bottom. This could be good for carp, not only carp, but bass, because it's got a little more depth out there. Carp, 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 like three or four nice size ones. Come on, it's so deep out there, it's hard to see what's going on. Yeah, I spooked them. I spooked them. I, I just tossed it in there and like all the carp just came over to it like 
they're 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 hungry folks they're hungry i think i'm not gonna ball it so tightly this time mold very loosely so it can kind of crumble apart as they're eating it yep he's got it he's got it got him big one big one big one right here he doesn't even know he's hooked yet there he goes oh there we go keep him away from the other carp so i can catch the other ones too i don't want to stir up this area too bad because they are feeding in fact let's bring him down here land him over here there we go folks there we go oh baby it's a big one it's bigger than the last one it is bigger than the last one for sure no get over here it's a freaking giant it is a giant fish Oh, 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 <laughs> that fish, look at this fish, look at this fish, oh, oh, oh my gosh, this is like the biggest carp I've ever caught, oh my gosh, no, 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 get over here, got him, no, 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 folks, look at that fish, oh my gosh, this thing is giant, look at that thing, you can see why they fight so hard, I mean, look at those, that giant tail fin, these th I mean, look at those fins, built for power. Oh, we're just gonna quick catch and release him right here. Hey, 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 hey. Let's hold him upside down so he goes docile. Get the hook out. That's, that's a big one. Get out of there. Ooh, baby. Carp number two. Hopefully these other fish didn't get too spooked because these are the most aggressive carp I've seen all day long. Like as soon as I drop the bread ball in, they'll go attack it before it even hits the bottom. Don't want to mold it on too hard, just like that, so it can kind of fall apart when they're eating it. Okay, here's a bunch, here's a bunch. Here we go. Good cast, good cast. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh, it's a little guy, it's a little guy. Oh, it's a really little guy. This would actually be a good one to keep. <gasps> it's a mirror carp. No way. We cannot let this guy. Okay, get him in, get him in, get him in. No way, this is so cool. This is a keeper. This is the perfect keeping size. Like this is what I was looking for. A mirror carp. These are fairly rare, although I've seen quite a few of them just walking along here. They're really easy to identify because they only have a few scales on them. Get him up and he has landed. Look at that mirror carp. All right, well, here we go. Look at that. This is the tiniest one all day. This is one of the tiniest ones I've seen. Look at that, hook perfectly. Right there, pops out. I've only caught like two mirror carp that I can remember in my entire life. So this is kind of cool. You can tell they're mirror carp because they don't have any scales right here. The only ones they do, they just have a few scales going along like that. I'm gonna knock him out and we're gonna try to cook this guy up later. All right, so there's no rocks anywhere that I can kill this guy with. So I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna just take him out myself here. If you're sensitive, you might not wanna watch this part. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bleed him out. I'm just gonna go underneath this gill here. Just like that. All right, folks, so I got the carp right there in the water, bleeding out, making sure he stays fresh. They're still grubbing right there. They're still grubbing. Golly, I, there's some giants down there. We gotta catch at least one more, and uh, then we'll start walking back, fish on the way back, and figure out what we're gonna do next. Got him, got him, got him. Fish on. These carp are so smart. I don't know if they can smell something on the bread, like they can smell human or what, but oh look, that other one's following him trying to get the bread out of his mouth. Look at this guy. And there's like a couple others following him. I bet if we tossed in, we could catch him. Look at that. Let's just quick release this guy. Nothing too giant. Ugh. About average. I'd say that's probably about the average size carp in here. Perfect hook set. There we go. There he goes. All right, guys, well, I've been fishing for these fish for like two hours at this point. So I'm going to start walking back down the creek, fishing on the way back. Hopefully we can find a bass or two. All I've seen is carp and only a couple bass. It would be cool to catch an actual game fish today. I don't know. We'll see. Mm. 
whoa, 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 whoa. I just tried to snag a carp right there because you can snag carp since they're not a game fish. But I don't think this is a carp. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. That is not a carp. No way that's a carp. Wait, no, it's a big old carp. Wait, no. No, it's a sucker fish. Oh my gosh, that is giant. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Get over here. Get over here. Look at that. Just coming right to me. He's like, I'm done. <laughs> Look at this. That is crazy right there. So just kind of sitting there looking for bass and then I saw this guy sitting on the bottom. Since this is an on game fish, you're allowed to spear them, snag them, uh, bow fish for them. That's all good, but I didn't expect it to be a big old sucker. I thought it was just a carp. And this is the biggest sucker I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. Normally I'd kill a fish like this because they're just so invasive. I mean, you guys can see it. All that's in this river are suckers and carp and maybe a couple bass. So normally I'd kill them, but today I think I'm just gonna let them all go. Woo. Well guys, I think I'm gonna have to give up the ghost. I want, I came out here wanting to catch bass, but I don't, they're, they're just not here. I guess there was only a few bass, the one that I caught yesterday. And then I did see one or two right here earlier this morning so can't really find them but we still have our little carp friend right here that we have to cook up you gotta admit these are some cool looking fish they've got a lot of power they're smart there's just too many of them <laughs> other than that they're a pretty cool looking they're a pretty cool fish all right guys we're gonna flay them up i've been uh filleting fish a lot lately because i'm trying to practice i mean the only thing we can do with this carp is to fillet it i couldn't just gut it and throw it on a frying pan it wouldn't work so we're gonna try to fillet this bad boy nice thing about mirror carp is they don't have very many scales on them it's kind of nice oh my gosh that is a tough spine oh man oh look at that Look at that. Look at that. These are eggs that we do not want being laid in this river. Boom, cut all the way down to the spine. Whew. You know what? We're going to go one skinless fillet, one with the skin on. So we'll try to attempt to cut away the skin. We want boneless fillets or else there's really no point. Look at all those eggs. That is nuts. Thousands and thousands of eggs. Golly. See you later. All right. Honestly, they don't look too bad. I mean, look at that. This looks like any other white meat fish. There's probably a lot of bones hidden in there. I can't feel any, but you never know. Little bit of butter. Since I'm not very sure about how this carp is gonna taste, I'm gonna go with my favorite seasoning and that's lemon pepper. This I know is good. Just gonna put a little bit on there. Put a little on the pan. A lot on the pan. Mix that around. Oh no, our butter's already starting to burn. Turn down our heat. And then we will go ahead and set a filet in there. Same thing with the other filet. Season it up and throw it right down on there. Well, this cooked really, really fast. I'm surprised at how fast it cooked. I don't really know what is going on with this filet. <laughs> it curled up like a banana. We're just gonna hit it with a little bit of lime juice. All right, folks, well, fish is done. Let's give it a try. I've had carp before. I had like two bites and I didn't like it very well. So this will be the second time ever having carp. Hopefully this is better. All right, let's grab a little chunk right there. All right, here we go. Really bony. Yeah, I thought I got all the bones out. 
Mm -mm. Oh yeah, look at that. I just picked up a piece and look, all these bones. Why bones? You know, like look at that. Lots and lots of little bones. I thought I had filleted it, but look at that. Tons and tons of little bones nestled in that fillet. That's actually pretty good. If you can get past the thought of it being carp, because you know, at least I was always taught that carp and sucker fish, they're just straight up trash fish, you don't want to eat them. But if you can just get past the fact that it's carp, the taste, it, that, that's not that bad. And if you can work through the bones, that's honestly not a bad tasting fish. Definitely got a unique texture. I mean, look at that. That does not look bad right there. It's flaking off, flaking away. And that's the reason most people don't want to eat carp or sucker fish is because they're just bony. You know, people always say it's a trash fish, but I think for the most part, it's just because there's so many bones and it's really hard to eat. I mean, out there in China, those old uh, Chinese people, they, they, they love carp. Carp is a delicacy. I mean, they've got those little carp balls and all that stuff. If it's cooked right, if you can get the bones out of them, carp can actually be a good fish. I don't know why over here in America we just despise carp. I mean they can be pretty invasive like there's some places around here where uh, they're really invasive. This this one included. Wow I'm really really surprised because I'm usually a pansy when it comes to eating stuff like this. Anyway guys I'm gonna head out of here. It was a fun day of fishing. I'm gonna go get some real food now. Not saying this isn't good but you know. But anyway thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go down there, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.